recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to another live today. Just wanted to say a quick hi to all of you who joined us today. As you all know that today life is very, it will give you guys a lot of information because it's about about applications how to apply my voice is not clear okay i'll just try to uh can you hear me now or you all can't hear me it's better i'm sorry about that you can hear me now uh i was just saying that please try to fill up these survey forms because it will be really good for all the parents who are participating in these forms uh, i've done it now is it better now can you hear me now just let me know if you can if you all can hear me better now okay that's great i think you all can hear me i was saying that I have more parents who had filled up the form for Bexley and we had less parents who had filled up the form for Newstead. So I will be only be able to give you all idea about how many parents have filled up for Bexley and Kent. And uh, tomorrow we have the Kent results coming and I highly, I really wish all of you to please go and fill up the form for Kent so that it gives us a good idea about how to fill up the admission forms and which school to write. So I will be starting with uh, Newstead first because that's the one I have less members who have filled up. And there are some parents who are really keen to know what's going to happen for the Newstead. So I'll be hiding myself as usual so that all of you can see the form carefully. And I will be zooming in the form for you all so you all can see the form better. So I'm starting with Newstead right now. And if you can see, there are only 13 parents who have filled up the Newstead form. So it's not much. And I can't tell you about how many girls had applied because I only have 13 parents who had gone ahead and filled up the form. So according to this survey, if you look at the survey, if I go on the summary, you could see that uh, I'm going on the summary. If you see at the summary, I'll just go here and I'll show you here. Oh, it's gone to... There's really less parents who have filled up Newstead. And if I go on the summary of this form, you could know that how many girls have got full marks. So there are girls who have got full marks in Newstead. So there were around 15.4% girls who had got really 
had got full marks so if you think the girls have got full marks the other girls who have got around 220 or 230 their chances of getting in in the school will be really really less because they would take the they would definitely take the girls who have got full marks so if you go first i will let you know how how much is the mileage if you are within 9 miles of newstead grammar school you have a chance of going in but still they look at your new newstead is a very super selective school they only don't go with the mileage they also go with the marks so if you look at the marks of the girls there are 164 uh, 16.4% girls who have got full marks and there are 23.1% girls who have got between 260 to 270 so if the school was given option to choose which girls they will choose they will definitely go with the high marks ones and then they will go with the girls who who get between 260 to 270 and the best thing about new stir grammar school is uh, not the best thing the thing what they consider is that you should be in the bromley council and you should be in the mileage so if there is an, there are two girls who stay next to newstead grammar school and one of the girls have got 280 full mark sorry 270 full marks and the other girl has got 250 they would definitely take the first girl in and then they will take the other girl in so they definitely will go with the marks and secondly they will go with the mileage so marks are always there and in new state what they look at is if there is a tie between two girls with the marks like both the girls have got 250 and 250 what they will consider will be your non verbal reasoning marks if that if one girl has got more in non verbal reasoning than the other girl but they are tied in the marks they would definitely take the girl who has scored more in non verbal reasoning so in new state they look into non verbal reasoning marks if there is a tie and if you look at the chart the summary of the chart what we have it's not great because there were very less parents who had taken part in the survey so if you look at the one what we have here there are 38 point sorry 38.5 percent girls who have got between 220 to 230 so these are the girls who are who will be struggling to get into the school but i would not say that you should not put new state as one of your options you could but the chances of getting in the school would be really less because they will be taking the other girls first who get more than 230 to 240 So if your girl has got more than 240 in new state you are safe to get in but you have to again be in the mileage. So this is what they look at in new state. So you really really have to be in the mileage in new state to get into new state grammar school. You have to be within 9 miles. And some parents feel like how would we measure miles from my house? How can we measure distance? If you go on our YouTube channel we had made a video in which we told you how to measure distance please try looking at that video before putting new state as one of when one of your options and please don't try putting new state as one of your options your first option basically if your daughter has got between 220 to 230 i would not waste my option putting new state as my first choice because the people who have the members who have filled up the form you could see yourself from that also 15.4% girls have got full marks this is only with the 13 people who have filled up the forms so if only 13 people have filled up the form and out of that 15.4% have got full marks it means that the marks uh are go uh, the marks are really high this year so there would be more girls in other groups also if you would have come to know had got full marks so if you go down and if you look look at that out of that i said how many of them are now let's look at the mileage so this was the mileage chart which the parents had filled up 
So if you look at the mileage one, 23.1% are outside the mileage. So this percent of uh, girls will not be considered. They will be considered, but it's very rare a school would go outside the mileage because remember, Newstead is a super selective school. So I mean a super selective school means that they will take time they will fill up first with the girls who are within the mileage and then they will go with the girls who are outside the mileage. And if you look at that, this is the chart of the mileage what we have. Six to nine miles, 23.1% girls are between six to nine miles. And if you look at that, 30.8% girls are 30.8% girls are 2 to 5 miles and 1 to 2 miles is 23.1%. So the girls who have more chances to get in to Newstead Grammar School are the girls who are between 23.1%, 1 to 2 miles or maximum 2 to 5 miles. When they see this mileage, then they go further down. So these are the girls who have more chances of getting a new grammar school than the other girls. So 23.1% are the ones which have less chances to get in. And outside the mileage, I won't even consider you guys to write new as your options because it's very, 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 very rare that your girl has a chance of getting into new stead. And some parents keep asking, my girl has got my girl has passed new state. Can I change schools? Changing of schools, I cannot give you any. Uh, I can't tell you anything about that. The best person to talk about that is school admissions. Uh, new state falls into Bromley Grammar in Bromley Council. So if you want to know anything about new state, about their mileage, anything, I would say you guys to call up the Bromley Council and then decide off shifting because shifting from one place to another is a very 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 big decision and you should not take that decision unless you guys are 100 percent sure that your decision is right and your daughter would get in that school because the consuls have become really really strict because parents are doing that now and they are aware about that that parents normally ship from one place to another for grammar schools. So the consuls have made some things in particular for you guys to consider before making that move. Again, I have made another video. I have made a video about when to move near grammar schools. Please try looking at that video before making any decision moving from a from one grammar school one place to another so this is about your new state so if you go on our youtube channel i have also written down the results of the survey what we have for new state gram for new state grammar schools so if you are considering about your daughter in new Star grammar schools, please go with the results of the survey. I know it's not great because very less parents have done it, but still it will give you a rough idea. Looking at the full marks and everything else, you have to consider that. And now if you guys have any question about new state, please ask because I'll be going and doing the survey about Bexley grammar schools. There are more members who have done the survey for Bexley schools that would give you a much 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 bigger idea about Newstead so I'll be sharing my screen again with you all and that would be the uh, that would be for the survey for Bexley schools now so let's do the survey about Bexley now And I will be again hiding myself so you guys can only look at the survey about Bexley. There were lots of members had done and there were around 60, 
I think so. 60 members did Bexley. Let me just have a look. Yeah, 50 members had done for Bexley. So you guys have a better idea for Bexley than you had for Newstead. So first of all, as you know that Bexley is done by boys and girls. It's not only girls who give the test. It's not only boys who give the test. So both of them give the test. And if you look at the survey, 54.54% boys had filled up the form and 46% girls had filled up the form. So that gives us more idea, a really good idea about what's happening. So let's look at the survey here. What does it tell us? <coughs> And Bexley is something about, let's first talk about the admission criteria of Bexley. If you look at the admission criteria of Bexley, Bexley is little different than other consuls. Like what we were discussing about Newstead, you have to be within the mileage and you should have good score. But Newstead, uh, sorry, Bexley is absolutely different. In Bexley, what they consider is that you have to pass and you have to be within the mileage. Passing marks also, obviously, you have to score good marks to get in. You can't just get 217 and you get in. So if you look at this survey, there were 74% people who had filled up the form. And out of them, 16% were which were in Bexley Council. So... The chances of getting Bexley schools is more for the 16%. Now, some parents ask us, how many schools are there in Bexley, Bexley entrances, if you give Bexley entrance? So there are only four grammar schools in Bexley. If your child is giving a Bexley grammar, Bexley entrance, you will be only giving for four grammar schools. The two grammar schools out of them, uh, sorry, uh, it's like four and two out of them are mixed. So you can have boys and girls and one and one is for one is for boys, one is for girls. So you have Beth grammar, you have Chis and Sid, you have trolley grammar and then you have the Bexley grammar. The most difficult one to get into Bexley is the Bexley grammar. Bexley grammar is really good. But you have to be within the mileage, within two miles, not more than two miles to get into Bexley Grammar. Bexley Grammar doesn't consider the mileage more than two miles. So you have to be within two miles to get into Bexley. And if you look at other grammar schools, Chisholm Sin, let's talk about Chisholm Sin. That grammar school, I have seen that it takes a lot of children from Chiselhurst area and it goes... I think so the mileage must be really far, but I'm not sure about their mileage, but it looks like the mileage is really far from other grammar schools of Bexley. So Chisholm Chisid is a grammar school which takes more kids from our area, from Bromley and Chiselhurst or Pinton. So these are the areas, basically they like taking kids from this area. And if you look at Beth's grammar, Beth's grammar is the same like New State. It goes all the way till eight miles or nine miles sometimes. But you have to look at the school website because it, it might differ from year to year. So it depends how many boys and boys apply to Beth's grammar to get into that school. And trolley grammar again takes much more kids into it, more girls. And again, you have to look at the school mileage how many kids will they take in? So let's talk about the results now. So if you look at that, the results, what the, what the parents have filled up, out of that, 16% children have got... Oh, sorry, 10% children have got top 180. So these 10% children who have got top 180 they will be the first one, they will be the one who can apply to any grammar, any Bexley grammar schools and they will get into. Bexley has something which is called like 
if your child has got top 180 your child can get into any grammar school only bexley i'm talking about bexley they can get into any bexley grammar school leaving aside the mileage and where they stay so if your child is the top 180 out of that your child can get into any of the schools bexley schools they want so if you look at this one top 180 we have 10 percent of children who have got top 180 and the ones who have done out of that five of them have got top 180. another one 250 to 260 we have 10 percent of children who applied have got 250 to 260 and 240 to 250 again that 16 percent children have got that and then you have 20 percent of children have got 230 to 240 and two per four percent of children have got 203 190 has two percent again and 207 two percent of children have got again so this is the what we have about bexley so if you look at in Bexley, if your child has got anything more than 220, I would say that your child is safe enough to write Bexley as one of your options. Because Mac Bexley consider mileage and your passing marks. It doesn't consider so much about your high marks and things like that. If you have passed, you are within the mileage, you have more of you have more chances of getting in. So you could write into and there's one thing I wrote wrong. It's like, how many of you uh, is Ken Consul is your first choice? I, I was I was supposed to write Bexley. So let's consider that as Bexley Consul. So 60%, if you look at that, they, this is more chances for the people to get in. 60% people have said that Bexley is not their one of their options. And 36.6% people have said that Bexley is one of their options. So now this is something which is really important, which I think so you all are waiting for, is how many of you want to apply to which school? So this gives you guys more idea. So let's discuss this one now. So if you look at this, 36% girls want to go into Tronley Grammar School for Girls. 10% want to go in Chisin Sin. 20% want to go to Bexley Grammar School. And 14%, sorry, 28% want to go to Betts Grammar School. And these are the other schools they want to go to. So if you look at this, the highest percentage of girls who want to go to Bexley, want to go to Trolley Grammar School are 36%. So normally the girls who don't pass New State, they, uh, if they have passed Bexley, they would prefer going to Trolley Grammar School. And some parents who live really, really far away, and they have not applied to Bromley schools, they would prefer going to Bexley schools. But it depends on each parent's individual, what they feel like the child should go in. And sometimes what parents do, they fill up the form for one particular school and the other school also, and they don't get that school. It go, they go, they'll get the other school what they prefer. So this is about bexley now if you look at so another thing about bexley school is that some parents prefer going to bromley schools than sorry kent schools more than bexley schools. some parents prefer bexley schools kent schools more than bexley because kent has a full range of schools it has more schools than bexley in any other console if you look at any console be uh, Kent has more schools in the country than any other council. So there is more intake, there are more competition for Kent than in Bexley. 
Another thing about Bexley is you have to be, you have to think about the things, how would you travel and things. That's for every school you choose. With your child, you have to think about the things that how would your child travel, which is best for you. And there are a lot of things you, you could decide now which school you want to choose, Kent or Bexley. There are a lot of open evenings going on of schools, go on school websites. They normally have, have open evenings before your deadline to fill up the secondary form. So remember the deadline for secondary form is 31st of October. And don't try putting Bexley as one of your choices if your child has not been selective. Some parents have a habit of putting Bexley even if this child has not been selected for that school. Because you have to think carefully about using your options. Some consoles give you four, some consoles give you six. So it depends on individual what console you are in. Ken console, I think, so give you around three. Bromley console gives you six. And some console only gives you three or two, something like that. So each console is different. And this is the time when you have got or when you, you have to wait for all the results to come before applying to your secondary transfer forms. And please think logical on filling these forms. Don't just fill up the form that you, what your friend tells you. You should use what is good for your child because sometimes a school which is not good for your child could be good for your friend. So don't try copying your friend and in filling up the form. Use your logic in filling up the form. And some all the schools specialize in something or the other. So the best thing is you should go on the school website and see what the school specializes in before applying to the secondary transfer form. Because you don't want to fill up a form just for the sake of filling up. And then you will be like, oh, why did I do that? I could have got another school. So just don't fill up the form for the sake of like, oh, my child has done really well in this school. I'm just filling up the form. Ask your child because it's the future of your child. Your child would be spending seven years of his life in that school. So you have to think about the future of your child than thinking about what my friends will think. I think so. I, I hope I make, I made sense what I'm speaking to you guys. And I've also, <clears throat> sorry, I've also... Uh, if you go on the YouTube, I have also filled up, I have also uh, written about the survey results in, if you go on the description in YouTube, we have written that about each survey, what was the result, and we'll be doing another survey for you all for Kent schools tomorrow. So please try telling your friends to fill out the form. It's really, really important for you all to fill up the form because it gives you much better idea about which schools to apply and which schools have more, which school is better for your child and how she should apply. And there is also, if you go on the Kent, I know about Kent definitely. If you go on the Kent Council website and you go on selective test, they have something which is called like they give you a chart or something which tells you about all the marks each child has got how many children have got particular marks so it gives you I'll, I'll see if i can share that with you so that you all can have a great idea about things so i'm just going on ken console website i'm just finding what i'm supposed to be finding for you all So you have to be really, really, really careful. And you know something, everybody uh, says that
I'll tell you where it is. I've found it. I will. I won't be able to open it because it tells me to. Let me stop sharing the screen again, and then I'll share that screen with you. So I've gone on Bexley Consul's website. If you go on Bexley Consul website, you have a they have a habit of putting for all the years. If you go down, if you look at Bex, uh, this is all about in Bex. This is about Kent. I'm not talking about Bexley now. Ken Consul has a habit of putting the score report for all the years. So try looking at the score report for Kent before applying to Kent schools. I will be doing a separate, I would be doing a separate survey for Kent. Uh, if you guys want to have some idea about Kent, you could also go on the Kent website and try looking at this. It tells you all the results from all the years, the report they have till 2021. And Kent has a habit of putting the result for 2022 also. They'll be definitely putting it till the end, till before you all apply to your secondary transfer. So this is something you all can have a look. Just go to the Kent test score report for 2021. This is for last year. And they have for the other years also. If you go down. You could just compare about all the schools. Let me just see if it lets me. It lets me open it so you all can have a good idea about it. It doesn't let me open it, but you have to save it before opening it. So. This is about all the years you have and you have for 2021 also. So if you look up, if you look up, you also have for 2021 and they will be also putting in for 2022. So you all can go on that console website and just have a look and compare each year's marks and you can compare how much marks your child has got and how would you, will your child be able to get Kent schools or not so this is something you all can have a look at uh, now it's question time now if you guys want to ask me any question please feel free to ask me I'm here to help you all and please try looking at the results for the survey and try filling up there there will be another form coming for you all for the survey for ken please try telling your friends to fill up the survey form it's really good for you all to have a good idea i can just request you all to do it it's up it actually depends on you all how to apply and how to fill up the form and i have also done a video if you guys have not looked at the video i have also done a video it's called like how to travel from grammar schools, uh, the tra travel information. How would you travel from grammar schools? So try looking at that video also. That video gives you all a really good idea how to travel from one grammar school to another. And what are the ways you could travel to grammar schools? What do you need to grab travel to grammar schools? And it's a really, really nice video. And you all can just look at that video. That video is really good. I'm just looking if I can go on that video with you all. So you could have a good idea. There's anything you want to ask, please feel free to ask about school admissions, anything else. And there's a lot of help you could find in our YouTube channel. There are lots of lots of videos we have done in our YouTube channel. If you are struggling in any of the videos, any of the things, how to struggle, um, how to move to a grammar school and how 
what books to do for a grammar school, anything else, anything you want, you would find videos for that in our YouTube channel. So there are lots of lots of help for you all in our YouTube channel. There's any question you guys want to ask before I end this live for you all? There's anything you all want to There's anything you all want to ask, anything, please feel free to ask. Thank you. Oh. So looks like you guys don't want to ask anything right now. So there's anything you want to ask, please feel free to ask because I'm here to help you all and I'll be helping you all with your videos, with your No, I just heard it. It's only a thank you. That's it. There's any help you want or anything else, please feel free to ask me and I, I'll be able to help you all. And we'll be also, we are, have also started doing something which is called a weekly mock, weekly topic test. This is not related to what you guys are doing. This is for the year fives. So we have started doing a weekly topic test. If you guys are interested, you can find the link in the video today to join that group for ALT weekly test. We'll be doing weekly test and we have done lots of help in the tuition, outside the tuition, in the videos, everything else is everywhere. You'll find help from us. So that's all for today. I hope you all like the video. And there's any question you want to ask, which you feel like you, you can't ask here, you can PM, you can message me. I'll be able to help you all with your questions, with your answers. And I think so there are some members who have joined us live now. So I really thank you all who have taken your time to come live and been a part in the live sessions today. It's really good to have you all here. And I'll be leaving you all to have a lovely rest of the day now. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we have for you all. And good luck to the kids who have applied to all the grammar schools. And I hope your kids get to the grammar school they deserve. If they don't, don't be upset. God has always made a plan B for the kids and that would be better for them. That's all for today. Thank you.